Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for July, July 6, 2023, a little after 3.15 p.m. Eastern. We're having a reverse aging health call for all night around 9 p.m. And uh, the reason you haven't heard much from Michael Thomas is because he's doing a lot of research and development. Freedom means the opportunity to be what we never thought we would be. Daniel J. Bush. Relax. Take this moment of your precious life to relax your body right now. Breathe deeply into your heart. Let everything be okay as it is. Be fully relaxed and at ease in this moment. Notice how different you feel. The instant you relax, your heart opens and the mind automatically stops grasping to overcome its problems. By relaxing, you learn that you can surrender to life and actually become the solution you were seeking. Every problem in your life is instantly solved through this divine, all-loving, expansive heart energy within you. It is always available and found through relaxation and surrender. By learning to relax, you learn how to trust life. This practice of a deeper relaxation is how this divine solution will constantly manifest into your life. It's good to know that at the very core of your heart, there is always a current of peace and an abundant river of bliss. If you aren't feeling this now, it doesn't mean that it's not there. It just means that you haven't yet opened your heart fully to this moment and tamed the wild, chattering, relentless mind completely. The mind with its ego-driven tendencies does not want to ride this gentle river of heart-centered bliss. If the ego fell into the river of bliss, it would die. The ego knows this and feels afraid to totally let go, trust, and completely dissolve and merge with the bliss. It most certainly will die. Yet with every death is also a wondrous rebirth. When the mind thinks too much, the ego believes that it's in charge of everything. The ego gets stirred up, thinks it's in control of the universe, no matter what happens or doesn't happen, in life. It starts demanding for things to be different than they are. It forgets to ask with kindness for what it wants and becomes impatient, aggressive, and insensitive. These qualities, these qualities are how you know that the ego is in the driver's seat, running the show and pretending that it is in charge. The ego does not want to realize that we are all divine beings that are connected to an infinite source of wisdom, vast cosmic intelligence and universal love. The ego's job is to create the illusion of separation so we can have the experience of unification with source. The truth is that your divine infinite nature is permanent and already here inside you now. This divinity is always here, always now, and always available no matter what the ego believes or experiences. Once you choose to be the master of your mind, the ego becomes your faithful servant. and You soon discover this natural river of bliss inside your heart. The silence of the mind always allows you to discover the sacred stream within. Only 
with an infinite amount of patience, will the mind stop its controlling, repetitious, chaotic patterns? Only with infinite presence will the mind come to, to a complete stop and you'll become 100% absorbed in the divine source. The opportunity to experience this is found within every moment. The silence between your every breath contains the doorway and your heart is the key. Choose to begin the process of mastering your mind by redirecting your focus repetitively towards your heart. The more often you place your attention there, the more love, awareness, and energy flows to and from there. Eventually, this awesome chakra center will open, and you'll experience your true spiritual connection to this infinite river of bliss. This simple practice will bring your life much greater joy, wisdom, and clarity than any major accomplishment you could have in the physical world. You can tame the mind. You can take 10 minutes every morning to do this flowering heart visualization. Focus on the essence of your heart. Feel the energy your heart has. Let it be exactly the way it is. Thank your heart for giving you life. Now imagine that your heart has become a beautiful flower. Imagine that its soft, gentle petals are opening to the warm rays of the sun. Receive the warm, healing light rays of the sunshine in your heart. Let the light come pouring in and radiate through your heart and spread into every cell through your body. Let this divine light energy radiate all around your body, filling the room, city, country, and penetrating every person in this world. Continue to let this energy flow until you feel completely at peace and at home inside yourself. Randomly throughout your day, become this flower. Let the sensations you practice feeling inside your heart expand throughout your body. Watch closely and notice the difference that occurs when your whole body becomes soft, repetitive, and flower-like. receptive. Rest completely in the true essence of your heart as frequently and as often as you can. If you are able to do this randomly at least 15 times a day for the next week, you'll see a tremendous change occurring. Soon your mind will quiet and you will naturally notice the bodily sensations of peace everywhere you go. No that by embodying your heart chakra, you are bringing your life into a deep and divine connection with everyone and everything. The miracle is that as you awaken, so too does the whole universe. Per Viliat. The miracle is that as you awaken, so too does the whole universe. This world has a natural order and perfection within it. This divinely orchestrated universe is easy to see, feel, and experience. When you simply focus your attention in its direction, and as you know, what you put your energy on grows stronger the more you take time to look for the beauty 
and the perfection around you, the more you'll see, feel, and experience the awesome divine energy that is within all beings and things on this planet. It's only your mind that stops you from perceiving the divine in every experience, person, and thing. The mind tends to complain about things that it perceives as bad or wrong because these things are not in alignment with its plans and expectations. The mind would like everything to go according to its agenda and can think it is the supreme ruler of its universe. Truly, it has no idea how your whole life is going to look once it is finished. While the mind may grumble and get upset about certain experiences, you can always step back from the mind and see the gift in every perceived negative event. Wherever there is an open mind, there's the possibility of seeing the positive within everything. By looking at any event with humility and a long, deep, quiet curiosity, the perception pendulum inside the mind will swing from negative to positive. With enough childlike innocence and courageous introspection, you'll start to understand that everything happens for a much bigger purpose. This reason is not always evident at first, yet each event is always created by an all-loving, intelligent universe that is helping us to live our life's mission all the time. If life were a big, beautiful puzzle, the mind would only be able to perceive one piece of the puzzle and not the entire assembly, assembled masterpiece. The conscious mind isn't big enough to understand how all of the pieces of this deeply complex universal puzzle of life all fit synchronistically together. Only when the mind drops can we watch a glimpse of the bigger picture. Only when it is one with the universe will it truly understand and see this perfection everywhere all the time. The universal grand design is already perfectly in place. All the pieces of this mysterious puzzle are exactly right even if the mind judges them not to be. The perceived imperfections you see are actually your path to freedom. You see the purpose of the mind is to continually grow, open, learn, and expand to the point that it realizes it is one with the universal mind. The mind creates these misperceptions just so it can one day know what perfection truly is and really appreciate it. We really don't know what love is until we've experienced a loss of love. Everything has its opposite to give us contrast so that we can have many different experiences to learn and grow from. The mind often gets in the way of us seeing and knowing that this perfection is all around us. It believes it is, it is solely responsible for managing your entire world and that if one little thing, one tiny little thing is not right, it throws a huge raging fit. It tends to think that it's the general manager of this universe. If your world does not seem perfect to the mind right now, take a giant step back from the mind. This will help you to experience a more universal perspective. Once you get even a tiny glimpse of this awesome divine holographic conscious matrix, the mind will be humbled. Relax a bit and start to see more of the divinity in everything. If you don't see divinity in yourself, you will not see divinity in anything else. If you don't love yourself deeply and eternally, you will not love anything else deeply and eternally. If you haven't forgiven yourself 
for everything and anything in this life, even past lives, you won't be able to forgive anyone else or anything. If you aren't joyous and happy with yourself, how can you be joyous and happy with others? Any of us can take a break, right? We can take a break of our life to drop the critical, analytical, judgment, mental mind and notice the divine perfection within everything and everyone. We invite you to spend your time looking for how perfect and utterly amazing this world is exactly as it is. When you wake up in the morning, start with noticing the perfection of the habit of your mind. What is it typically thinking about and attempting to create in your life? Be curious and accept whatever it is doing. Don't fight it. Just see that it is perfect. Then get out of bed. Take a look at yourself in the bathroom mirror. See the perfection of this divine soul in a physical body looking back at you. Then notice the perfection of the weather, no matter what it is, whether it's super hot, freezing, or raining, proclaim this to be, this too is perfect. While at work, notice how others are absolutely perfect just the way they are, especially if you don't like them. Notice how perfect this job is for you. Or, if you're unemployed, notice how being free from work is exactly what you needed to manifest this new amazing career that's coming your way. Let your every experience be perfect and unfold exactly as it will. When eating a meal, notice the perfection of the food. While you are driving, focus on how perfect it is if someone cuts you off in traffic or if there's a traffic jam 25 miles long. See the perfection in your children, partner, or housemate. At the end of the day, bathe in the deep knowingness that all is divine. You spend all your time exploring the feelings in your body, mind, and heart that everything is perfect exactly as it should be. Notice how different you feel after spending the day acknowledging the perfection in everything. You will see that this habit creates a new perspective on this life that does something very magical to your entire being. It allows the mind-body to let go and come to a deeper sense of peace and trust. When you trust the universe, this universe, your ability to manifest your desires dramatically increases. You start naturally sending out a higher vibration of energy that attracts to you what you desire. Let go of the mind and start enjoying the perfection that is around you from the smallest flower to the tallest skyscraper. Commitment unlocks the doors of imagination, allows vision gives us the right stuff to turn our dreams into reality, James Womack. Commitment unlocks the doors of imagination, allows vision, gives us the right stuff to turn our dreams into reality. Why, does, why do we all have this omnipotently powerful manifesting abilities. What manifesting happens because your body-mind is a channel for the inexhaustible spiritual source of energy. It's a channel. It's a conduit. Love and creativity that is found only in the present moment. Manifesting happens because your body-mind is a channel for the inexhaustible spiritual source of energy, love and creativity that is found only in the present moment. The more present we are, the more our body 
opens to this manifesting power and the richer our experience of this life becomes. With a consistent, relaxed, yet focused awareness on what we want instead of what we don't want, we will naturally and continuously manifest amazing things. Everything we've always needed, ever needed, will ever need is inside of us. This entire universe and its divine consciousness is our very nature. This has total command over all the elements, atoms, and thought forms in existence. This is the truth of who we are. We're told by others that we are a body, name, and identity that has certain beliefs and limitations. These are all ideas about who you are and only a fraction of the truth of what and who you truly are. To truly understand the powerful manifesting beings that we are, we simply need to experience it for ourselves. To have this experience, we need to access our infinite potentiality by practicing dropping deeply inside. Now, there are foundational manifesting principles. They are the keys that will enlighten and awaken the enlightened manifester within all of us. Now, if you feel that you don't have the right tools, methods, or vehicle to take your life to its dream destination, just let that one go. When you wake up and realize the all-powerful truth of who you really are, you'll know how easy and effortless it is to manifest whatever your heart desires. There is a deep stillness and silence within us all, always, that is intimately connected to the all-loving, divine, universal intelligence in the present moment. There exists an inner knowing and understanding that we are all powerful and extremely magical. This body, mind, and universe are a magical hologram in which we can create anything we desire at any time. When we have a consistent positive flow of intention and high emotional energy towards any desired outcome, this sacred magical universe has to assist us in the present moment. The great secret here is in what each of these three steps all have in common the real power of manifesting is only possible when we are truly showing up in the present moment. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, but the present moment. The instant we stop being 100% engaged in what our now experience of this life is, by getting up in your heart about the past or future, life loses its juicy flavor, deeper spiritual meaning, and overall divine manifesting experience. When an open and centered energy, when it, with an open and centered energy, your thoughts manifest from your core creative self, and you magically co-create your life. Have you ever heard the say that you can't step into the same river twice? I've said this many times. Very important. Well, the truth is that you can't even step into it once. The moment has already changed. The second you think you've arrived. That's how fast this divine presence is. The moment moves and flows much faster than the mind. The mind can never, ever catch the present moment. When it actually does catch up, the mind is no longer there. You reach a state of no mind or nirvana. Everything you want is contained within this universe. And the universe only exists in this moment. Why would you look any place else for what you want. 
Manifesting energy is only found in the here and now. And there's more of it than you ever could use. The present moment is more amazing than anything that the mind can conceive of and is the only place that you truly exist. Once you surrender your life to the present moment, for many days and weeks, you will have a shift in consciousness that is so profound that your life will never be the same. A dynamic transformation will unfold through you. You'll see the manifesting. Your desires is effortless and joyful, miraculous, synchronistic events will become your everyday life. A sense of inner peace will prevail. And within each moment, there will only be time for you to shine your light onto the world. Surrendering to the present moment is how we bring truth, vision, purpose, and meaning to our life and step into being the divine, magnificent being we truly are. When you grip the wheel too tight, you'll find that you will lose control. Steve Rapson. How many of us hold on to things? Now, it's not necessarily that we know why we hold on to them, but we hold on to them real tight. I mean, it's like smothering tight. But why do we? You know, the mind's always thinking. But that is its job. It's always planning and pretending, hoping and wishing, pondering and probing, dreaming and scheming and yearning. Isn't it? And yearning for more. Basically, 99% of the time, our mind is busy capturing data and processing it, assimilating and creating new information. It's extremely occupied trying to make sense of all this data and learn what it needs to know so you can become, do, have whatever you desire. The mind is necessary to have an experience in this body. It is vital for your survival. Yet it doesn't know how to stop thinking and discover a permanent state of bliss within. The mind is indeed an awe-inspiring analyzing machine that functions a lot like a computer. Guess where computers came from? The mind. The mind can process, assimilate, and imagine anything if given enough time. You could even figure out Einstein's mathematical equations to space time if you had a few decades and a burning desire. And yet, with all its amazing power, there is one thing that the mind cannot provide for any of us, and that is everlasting inner peace. The mind is useless when it comes to discovering the eternal spiritual source of joy, love, and satisfaction, which is always at our core. The really interesting thing about the mind is that it only exists in the past or the future. It only knows yesterday and tomorrow. The mind simply cannot exist in the now, where peace resides. It spends all of its time in the future or the past. The mind is incapable of remaining in a state of peace because all its yearning, striving, and efforting to arrive there just creates more feelings of lacking peacefulness. It is always trying to get somewhere other than here now. It is always wondering what's going to happen next or processing what has just happened. We, we dare you to try to keep your mind present in the now for this moment. Try it just for a few moments right now. 
Let the mind reside only in the now and see what happens. Just briefly. What did you notice? Did life suddenly become more peaceful? You may have caught a glimpse at the crazy life that manifests from living in a mind that is continuously obsessed with past and future all day long, all year long, all lifetimes long. With the mind in charge, you can never find peace. Never, ever find peace with the mind in charge. The mind never stops to rest in the now because it would lose its job. It operates from this perspective that the now is not okay in some way, and thus it must always improve or change it. This is the exact opposite of the energy of inner peace, which stems from a deep knowing that everything is always perfect in this entire universe, in this simple, sweet, moment. Have you ever wondered what your life would be like if you were truly free from the mind? What would even one day be like for you? Imagine that that day is today. Birds are singing, breeze is blowing, and you are able to hear, smell, and feel the beauty of it all. Of course, you could hear what the mind was saying if you paid attention to it. Yet you choose instead to observe it and not get caught in its entangling dramas. Being the divine witness, watching it all from a higher perspective, you find peace by dropping the mind. True peace is a state of no mind. You can either choose peace or mind. And peace of mind occurs only when there is no mind. It is absolutely essential to know our mind so that we can transcend it. We need to understand how to let go of our mind so that we can find peace in any moment of our life. Start with trusting the process of letting it go. Trust that you are on the path to finding total freedom from the constant chit-chat in the mind. This choice is the first step on an infinite journey. The second step is knowing that your mind is connected to an infinite divine intelligence that it is always leading you towards enlightenment, even if it doesn't look that way. Third step is to imagine what it feels like to be free from your past, future, all your desires, inhibitions, fears, doubts, worries, and expectations. Imagination is employing the mind, of course. Yet what other tool do you have to use to free yourself from its grasp on you? So keep imagining what it feels like to infinitely dive into a permanent feeling of freedom. Once you can imagine this and hold this thought for several minutes, the real deal will soon follow and find you. Ultimately, we need to use the mind to drop the mind. We need to use the mind to drop the mind. To find total freedom in this life, the mind has to step down from its pedestal and get out of your way. Yet, who is going to coax it to step down? You are. And this decision to choose freedom over everything is the key. You'll soon find something amazing inside you 
When the mind surrenders and you turn inwards towards the divine spirit that you already are. So relax, bask in the light of this eternal, peaceful experience of pure being. Once you realize that this is available in each millisecond, following your daily mind chatter is the last thing you're drawn to do. The mind is awfully interesting, and yet the major block in the way to finding true freedom. When you drop all your attachments to it, you begin awakening to a much bigger reality. It goes beyond the walls of what is inside and outside yourself. When you deeply realize that who you are is not your mind, nor your thoughts, nor your emotions, nor your body, then the awakening process begins. Start with finding the silence between each thought. The space between ideas speaks to you in a way that goes beyond what can be spoken. By listening to this gap between words, this ordinary life suddenly becomes very profound and meaningful. It is only in this space of silence you will find total freedom and constant flowing river of peacefulness. You can see that the mind cannot exist in silence. The mind cannot exist in the spacious infinite universe that is everywhere now. If and when you want to rid yourself of the constant struggle of thoughts and negative emotions in your life, keep surrendering to this silence. Once you find this silence, the mind relaxes and you discover the foundation of your very being. Once you continue, once you confine yourself to this present moment, core, essential, foundational presence, your entire life is instantly healed and enlightened. When the mind disappears into the profound silence of the now moment, you also will discover that you don't really exist. When the mind disappears into the profound silence of the now moment, you will also discover that you don't really exist. The personality construct fades into the background, merging with the millions of other ideas. You soon will begin to know yourself as this profound silence and realize you are this infinite, timeless essence that is always present, no matter what crazy thoughts abound. Even when the cacophony of your mind feels almost deafening, this silence of pure being, mess, continues to permeate everything. The more you allow your mind to quiet, the more you can tap into this ever-deepening, peaceful energy that is your true nature. You are naturally this vast, calm reservoir of silence, even when your mind causes ripples on the surface of this lake. The stillness at the core, your being, is never touched. I'll join you in the meditation, meditation, return to close us out.
take an easy and slow breath in through the nose and an easy and a slow breath out in the mouth. Remain still. Let go and let the universe guide you. Only through surrender can we embrace our divinity. Simply be open and vulnerable to this universe. You already have all the courage you need. Existence fills you the moment you surrender. Take this with you for the rest of the day into the evening and night and following morning. We will return here Friday, July 7, 2023, 3.15 p.m. Eastern to continue our global guided meditation call and 9 p.m. Eastern to continue our reverse aging health call. Be gentle, kind, generous, and humble with yourself at all times. Be in the highest of the highest high, deepest of the deepest, deepest eternal gratitude at all times, no matter what is happening around you.